So the Philadelphia Phillies, I mean, they're they're all, all in all a strong team, and they've got I mean a, a heavy front loaded lineup, and you know they've got a lot of stud hitters, a lot of elite level hitters, and a, a very well rounded team. They've got some pitching depth as well, but I think they could use another starting pitcher. But where I think they could really uh, stand to make a significant improvement is center field, getting kind of a full time center fielder, and because they haven't really had consistency from center field in a little while. Now, Roman Quinn, and I forgot the other guy, but they're just not playing consistently. So I, I have a trade proposal here. It's actually options, three options to address center field for the Phillies. So you let me know what you think. Give me your feedback. You agree, you disagree, whatever. You know, alternate proposals in the comments down below. So, uh, by the way, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. If you enjoy great content, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell next to it so you don't miss future videos because I have a whole bunch coming. Okay, so trade proposal number one, the Phillies send uh, this is Francisco Morales, who's their number four prospect, a right-handed pitcher, Luis Garcia, number six shortstop, and who is that? Simon Mazzotti, I think it's called, uh, their number 10 prospect, an outfielder, to the Baltimore Orioles for center fielder Anthony Santander. He's 26, he's young, and he's also under control until 2025, so... Um, that could give them a young, controllable center fielder to kind of pair with those huge contracts that they already have on that team and in that lineup. And he's a solid defender. He's a solid player, a young player. It'll inject some youth into that lineup too. So um, that's proposal number one. Trade proposal number two. Uh, let's see we've got here. Rafael Marchin There's uh, is their number five prospect, prospect the catcher, who's going to be blocked by uh, Real Muto. <laughs> um Johan Rojas, number eight prospect, an outfielder, to Toronto, only two guys, to Toronto for Randall Brichek. Br Brichek. I think I, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing his last name, Brichek. But he's not also not a free agent until 2024. He's under a con under controllable contract for about $11 million per year, $12 million per year. So it's not the cheapest, but he's a solid player, and he's 29 years old. So that's another option. Option C, or three. Francisco Morales again, the number four right-handed pitcher. Uh, Adonis Medina, who's their number 11 prospect, the right-handed pitcher. And uh, Mickey Moniak, who was actually the number two pick in the draft a couple years ago, but it's still kind of toiling around there. And he's a number 12 prospect, an outfielder, to the New York Yankees for Aaron Hicks. And... Uh, He's under a very controllable contract. Um, he's not a free agent until 2025. There's a team option or mutual option for 2026. And um, I think there might be another option after that for 2027, but it's under control for about $10 million per year. So he's his contract's actually le lower per annual value than uh, Randall Grichik is. So, and he's got more years of control. And he's 31 years old, but he's a fully serviceable outfielder. He's a switch hitter. And again, he could fit in that lineup perfectly. And uh, be surrounded by you know the Bryce Harpers and, and, and all these other guys, Alec Baum and and Didi Gregorius, who he's familiar with former teammates, and he's also familiar with with Joe uh, Girardi. So he'd be a good fit as well. And, and any of these three proposals, I think, would be a, a very reasonable um, trade for the Phillies. They'd be giving up some prospects, but again, a lot of these guys that I mentioned are blocked by other guys, with the exception of some pitchers. Um, but I, I don't see these guys being at the highest, highest, highest end pitching prospects. So, um, in baseball, I should say. Some of them are top 100, yes, but they're not giving up their number one. or They're not giving up any of their number three prospects for in, in any of these trades. So, the highest is their fourth prospect, number four. And uh, so, there's, three, there's two three prospect trades and one two prospect trade. Any of these center fielders would be an upgrade over what they currently have. And again, it would give him a consistent guy in the lineup, a consistent guy out on the field. Hicks is also a switch hitter, so it gives that lineup some versatility, whether they're pitching against a lefty or a righty. And um, and again, I think he'd be, you know, Joe Girardi. If anybody can handle any type of personality, I think it's Joe Girardi. I'm not saying that he's a trouble personality at all, or any of these guys are, but Girardi, he's just, he, to me, he's a fantastic manager. And uh, I always liked him with the Yankees, and I'm forever thankful that he you know helped them win that World Series in 2009. So and I think he'll put the Phillies in, in a position to probably win a title at some point real soon. So any of these guys would be well off on that Phillies team with Joe Girardi's manager and surrounded by all that talent. Man, and at some point I think they'll wind up getting a pitcher as well. Uh, but uh, I think this could be this is probably the easiest 
path, in my opinion, to an upgrade for the Phillies. And um, again, any one of these guys would be a, would be a good trade for them. So you let me know what you think. Um, give me your feedback in the comments down below. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the, if you enjoyed the video. It's always greatly appreciated. I'd like to get as many likes as I can because it's really helpful for the channel's growth. So. And be on the lookout for my, you know, my daily Yankees recaps as well. So thanks for watching. I got another trade proposal coming tomorrow for another team. And I'll talk to you then.